Welcome to Talkin' Tigers. I'm Rachel Whitaker. We now know LSU's first opponent in the College World Series is TCU, who fought off Texas A&M in 16 innings Monday, 5 to 4. Now with a first look is our sports columnist, Jeff Duncan. Jeff, nice to see you. Nice to see you, Rachel. How are you doing? Oh, doing fine. Uh, LSU baseball spirit in the air, but they're going to have quite a challenge in the Horned Frogs of TCU. Their team ERA is just 2.39, another challenge for the Tiger Bats. But how LSU produced against the Cajuns was a real spark I think will carry into Omaha. Your thoughts? Well, Rachel, I'll tell you, I think this LSU team... Uh, is really on a mission you know that alex bregman the shortstop the leader of the team said that after the win on sunday night uh, you know it's been a long time coming for lsu they didn't go back to the world series last year <clears throat> when they went two years ago they didn't even win a game so these guys uh, weren't they were happy they won sunday but you could sense that they've got greater ambitions they want to go to omaha and do some damage and you're right they've got a big challenge against tcu who had the diametrically opposite experience in their super regional than LSU. LSU kind of breezed right through both games, really never was behind. Uh, meanwhile, TCU had a dogfight with Texas A&M. Uh, so it's gonna be interesting to see how these teams match up. I think they're both gonna be uh, very prepared, two very excellent coaches, good pitching staff, so I expect it to be another nail-biter for LSU fans. <laughs> right, TCU also played a, at an extra inning game, a loss to A&M in game two of their series, but they beat up on the Aggies in game one, 13 runs, and Alex Bregman broke a tough, untimely slump on Sunday, showing why Houston made him the second pick in last night's draft. And Bregman said, First, let's go win some more games. I really had no idea until about five minutes before the draft started where I would even be in the mix. Um, but it's just really just an honor and uh, can't wait to just play baseball uh, for Houston and for LSU and just uh, continue having fun playing the game that I grew up loving. Now, Jeff. Bregman will surely be missed after LSU's time in Omaha ends, but how capable is this group of making a run to the championship? Well, I think they've got, got to be considered the favorites to win it all. I talked to Skip Bertman, of course, the legendary uh, baseball coach of LSU on the field after the game on Sunday, and he talked about how much better this team is prepared to win in Omaha than maybe some past LSU teams. You know, they're built for the spacious confines of TD America Trade Park. Uh, they're defensively very strong up the middle. They've got two dominant starting pitchers in Poche and Alex Lang. And uh, they, they're more uh, aggressive on the base pass and in the batter's box than they've been in the past. Uh, they're not a lock by any means. They're gonna have to scratch and claw for runs like they've been doing. Uh, but mentally, I think this team is right where they need to be going to Omaha. <laughs> right. Paul Maneri said this is where they belong, and they've fought for it all season long. So here we go. None of them have had a winning experience in Omaha. So they'll try and get there starting this weekend. Well, Jeff, thank you so much. Thanks for having me, Rachel. Always fun. <laughs> and thank you for watching, everyone. We'll see you soon.